Right, so yesterday we went on a little journey and we got this beauty. It's a 1979 Jeep DJ5. Body's in decent shape. Let's go check it out. Apparently the way you can tell it's a DJ5. It has five, one, two, six, five, like that, right? All the glasses in it, which is kind of cool. But let me show you the monstrosity. Alrighty, it's a four cylinder. I've never had one with the four cylinder. Normally they all came with uh, straight sixes. And we believe it's an overhead valve thing cam. Yeah, that thing too. Now let's go check the inside out. It has these cool five lug. The bolt pattern's odd, very odd. You can tell this is a gay California car because there is a uh, cat under there. There's no seats. It's right hand drive. It's kind of cool. The wiper blade motor sitting there. Um, from what I can see, that's the only bad rust spot. Doors, the doors do slide. It's kind of cool. Let's go around the back. Still got the cool bumper. Has a Jeep door. Windows in it. Lights are inside. Let's see what this looks like inside. It's actually fairly clean with the secondary door. Because, you know, that's what Jeep did. Mopar gives you secondary shit. All right. So uh, let's go around this side over here. It does need tires. It's pretty cool. It's a very short wheelbase. So we might be able to do some wheelies in here. Just your three basic gauges. Instructions on how to be safety, whatever. All the other crap there. And it has wasp nest after wasp nest after wasp nest. Up there, all here. Holy shit. Well, here, how about we do this? I'll vacuum it out and take a look at it then. Peace.